Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gabe from The Biggest Podcast. I just want to say thank you all for supporting the podcast and for giving us a listen. If you go back and check part one of episode six, we have a very special guest by the name of Justin Taylor. He's a professional wrestler in training and he lives in my right right near my hometown. He's right over the bridge, so you guys check him out. Right now I'm going to plug buildanation.net. Go over to buildanation.net to get your buttons made and also go on over to 8bitdrum.com. You can check out this podcast and other podcasts such as the 8-Bit Drum Gamecast podcast. So thank you all guys and this is part two of episode six. Enjoy. Yeah. All right, well done. Well played. I'm going to take out my garbage because it smells like chicken in here. <laughs> chicken is the shit. So, guys. Yeah, hey, oh, there's Juan Pollo chicken here. Hey, are we on video? Oh, no, we're yeah. on. Yo, dude, oh. so what's up with this Mayweather fight, homies? What do you really think about that fight? Did any of you guys catch that hey, fight? I didn't watch it, but this is what I thought the entire time. If it wasn't a knockout, it's going to be a decision to Mayweather. And that's what happened. Yep. So, I don't give a shit other than that because I know that's what was going to happen. It's <laughs> fucked up. They got him. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I'm sure Mayweather probably won because he. That's how he, he plays. He he dodges. Like that's what he does. It says box. That's how he boxes. Yeah, people got people get caught up in wrestling and MMA so much that they're like, oh, that fucking fight sucked. Like, well, you're not watching fucking guys trying to throw arm bars. You're watching like a pastime. Well, you know what I mean? Put it this way, boxing's way cooler than fucking UFC, in my opinion. But, Boxing is more technical for sure. Boxing is way more technical. It's harder. You have you, you have potential to hurt hurt yourself more. You like like MMA fighters are fucking protected. Ah, oh, Brad, I think they disappeared again. Yeah. Hey, we've been having problems with Skype the last fucking time too, man. What the fuck's happening? Well, last time my fucking computer died. Oh yeah, it had emotions and shit. Yeah, that fool was all all pressed. <laughs> fucking decided to kill himself like three times. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm ending it right now. Hey, niggas, you there? What the fuck? This is crazy. It says connecting on his shit. There's like eight people in there taking up the Wi-Fi. Hell yeah, probably. Got fucking Carl up there fucking looking at porn, streaming porn on the low in the corner. <laughs> Yo. 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 Well, I don't know what happens, but uh, what's happening? We keep getting kicked off. You fucking what disappeared, fuck? dude. I know. Anyway, I was saying I don't like people sitting there laying there for 15 minutes trying to submit each other i'd rather watch them stand and fight to tell you the truth that's why i like boxing it's it's i think it's more elegant to be honest like i, I it's way more it's also more physical too when you think about it because you you get fucking punched in the face with the knuckle like after a couple hits to the face like you can either submit or knuckle with pads yeah like 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 well it's not as much padding like i know it's not but it's still pads still pads <laughs> but the thing is they stop a fight in MMA after like four, three or four consecutive punches <laughs> to the to the face, or if like you show you're not defending yourself, they stop the fight immediately. Yeah. And boxing is different. People are like, "Are you good to go?" No, you get up to the fucking, you get up, you know, before the count of ten. Like it's it's way more. Well, fucking there's a difference too. Like if you get knocked on the floor in boxing, the other dude can't keep fucking wailing on you. There's a difference between being on the ground and not being able to protect yourself and standing up and, like, one person's on the ground and he has to get counted on, like, there's a huge difference in that because I can understand you're on the ground and you're getting wailed on, like, five consecutive blows to the dome. That can cause some serious fucking brain damage. They're going to stop that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. For sure. But I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like UFC and I don't, I don't like that. I prefer to watch. Like, I mean, I don't even watch boxing nowadays because most of the time it's going to a decision. After, dude, hey, honestly, after that that Bradley Pacquiao fight, I was done with it. I was done. Was that before or after he got off the juice? Who? Pacquiao. Because he was on the juice. You know that, right? Nope. Yeah, that nigga was on the juice. Because the reason the reason this Mayweather fucking Floyd, oh, uh, them niggas disappeared again, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, yeah, we gotta tell them to like fucking kick off Wi, try kicking off Wi Fi on their phones or something. Yeah, tell tell Carl to take Wi Fi off his phone. <laughs> Stop looking at pornography. Yo, I don't know why we uh, keep getting. It's we're not doing anything. Yo, how really? many it's how many there. niggas are on yeah. your Wi Fi right now? Um, I'm not using it. Anybody else connected to it or anything? Yeah, Carl's but if you're connected to it, it's still like taking that juice. Taking that hooventude, bro. Even then, we're always on it anyway, and it works fine. Anyway, I don't watch boxing anymore. It's fucking rigged for the most part. Yo, it's whack. my favorite part about this whole fight, to be honest, were the fucking wrestling memes that came out of it. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know any of them. What are they? 
There was one I was just way Mayweather, and it said, "Of course you won. He beat Big Show." <laughs> all it said. <laughs> all it said. Oh it said. my god! <laughs> or he beat Big Show at WrestleMania or some shit like that. My favorite one. I said it on another. I said it on another one. Like on, on the uh, the video I, I I did with this dude just now. But my favorite one is. Uh, is he there? Nah, he left. Oh. He had to leave. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted him to do this part with us. So is this technically the episode? Are we doing the episode right now? This is our this is our episode. We could yeah, this is our episode. We're recording. I I've, I've been recording. I think uh You so fucking whole, say, whole whole foods bitch? Yeah, nigga. Whole foods in it, man, I'm trying to be fucking organic dog. That's right. soy nigga. Mm-hmm. Hey, but UEW this weekend, uh didn't have the biggest of crowds, but it was fun and there's a lot of more I don't wanna say more better. But uh, <laughs> that, definitely better good things. That, it's good that you don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You almost fucked that one up. You almost said a lot more better. Yeah. That would have been funny. Dude, uh, you would have fucking botched so hard. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been an audio botch. <laughs> um, no, nah, I just want to say, like, yeah, it's going to be, it's fucking going to be cooler. It's definitely going to be fucking, like, it's picking up. You know what I mean? Nice. And to be watching in June, a lot of big things are going to be happening in June. So uh, I just want to throw that out on the podcast right now. Get the UEW shit out there, too. www.uewnetwork.com. You can watch all our episodes. We just released Passage of Pain on DVD and Blu-ray. And we, so far, there's 12 episodes of the TV show now released to DVD in three volumes. So pretty much every month, we're going to be releasing a new volume of all the TV episodes that will be released for that month. So like I said, man, a lot of cool shit's coming out with UEW. But you know, hit us you know, up. Hit us up. You know. Sweet. What happened? You? No, I was sorry, man. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I was. No, 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 I was already done. You, you know what I really like about UEW is that even though they do have deathmatch wrestling, they also have regular wrestling. Like I, I don't mind. Like all right, I'm not a huge fan of deathmatch wrestling. There, I'm not a pussy. I'm just not a fan of it. Like, I, 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 I see the appeal in why someone getting hit in the head with fucking a fluorescent light tube is badass. But in the same respect. Like, I also really appreciate technical styles like Chris Benoit versus Eddie Guerrero type of shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I just, like, in wrestling, you know, like, at least, like, the crowd, I would say, like, if you got metalheads in your crowd, they're going to fucking love the deathmatch shit. Oh, hell yeah. to be in, in, into, like, the regular wrestling as long as, like, the characters are entertaining and, or not even the characters, just their moves are entertaining. Like, I think UEW, the crowd, is more of, like, a quote-unquote rocker-type crowd. And, like, you know, there's, like, a random people there, too. But, like, we're not even trying to be that type of company, a straight deaf company. We're just trying to be a Southern California promotion, you know? Yeah. that's. It's, it seems like it's, it's turning into something cool. I mean, I hope you guys get more people going. I wish I was there. I would fucking go, like, every fucking time. I started taking my cousin Jeff to the last two shows, and... That dude, like, <laughs> knows, that fool already knows when the next one is. He's already excited about it. Like, oh, so drunk? Yeah, he's he, Saturday. He gets so drunk, it's <laughs> fucking funny. So you guys drive him, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And uh, if anyone from UEW, drive. <laughs> if anyone from UEW is is hearing this, which I think some maybe are, um, yeah, if Jeff annoys you, just let me know. He's drunk. He's a drunk guy. He talks a lot, but uh, he's a nice dude though. He means, yeah. he means well. You know? Oh, I have a, I, speaking of Jeff, I have a question for you, Gabe, and answer honestly. Okay. Did you not like showering at Chef's be, at Jeff's because of his shower head? No, I I I wasn't. I, I, I hate it. I hate showering. At it well. wasn't. It wasn't hard. Like I've showered in worse conditions, to be honest. Like yeah. it wasn't the worst thing. At least he had hot water. <laughs> at least he had. Yeah. Hot, you know what I mean? So that shower head bullshit, though, man. Why doesn't he just get a regular one? What the fuck? <laughs> or just like something to hook it up on the top, right? <laughs> Anything. A piece of yeah. <laughs> string stapled to the ceiling would fucking work. It's like on the floor. You, you figure because he's so handy and shit right. that he would build that, but he just has a hose like hooked up to a, a fucking thing and it's just sitting there and you use it. Like it, it works really well because you can like wash your balls and shit. And, like, Mad good. Like, you, you won't miss anything, but it, it, I mean, it. it I guess it doesn't matter because if all really all essentially what you need is fucking water yeah. and you just need to scrub yourself. That's all it. All right. If you're but, a fucking if you're a fucking high maintenance bitch like me, that has long fucking hair, you need to fucking have both of your hands free to wash your hair and to brush uh, it and shit. You know how fucking hard it was to do yo. that shit with one hand. I broke the brush, yo. 
<laughs> Yo, my bad. Raw just cracked off right now. Ambrose is getting shot at the title. What the fuck? Yeah, Payback just turned into a fatal four-way. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Dean Ambrose for fucking president. Dude, you know what that means? This is the first time all three members of the Shield have gone head-to-head -head against each other. Dude, this is gonna... Now, this is how you book... This is how you book the match. This is how you book those guys. This is good. This is fucking... I'm fucking finally glad that this shit's coming full circle, man. It took forever. It took forever, and these niggas disappeared again. <laughs> they did disappear. Holy shit. Yo, bro, what if I told you that I actually have a shot of getting Amazing Red on the show? Yeah, I don't know what's going on over here. This keeps happening. <laughs> Yo, Amazing Red would be fucking sick. It, I think it's possible, because the guy, he trains at, at Red's gym. Eee, you're mar you gonna mark out on red? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's your oh, boy. Oh yeah, how'd that, how'd that shit go? Yo, it went pretty cool, man. It went pretty cool. And hey, what's the official uh, Twitter? At biggest podcast. Biggest? It's, it's not the biggest. No, nah, it's at at biggest because it's just it's already a long name. So yeah, yeah. You know. Trying to get people to Skype us right now. So it's blunt. I thought we were doing a blunt. Oh, yeah, we're gonna roll. Trying blunt. to get people to Skype us. Let's do joint. Yeah, because last time, like, I think one of the. I really do a bowl. <laughs> one of the like, I want to say the second podcast. <laughs> it's easier, fool. <laughs> hey yo 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 hey hey, hey. fucking. I want to fucking move to California so bad. Or fucking fly you guys out here for, like, a month. I have work now, man, but I, I mean, y'all... Let's, I mean, let's do it when I graduate, dog. Seriously, yeah. because I was there, but I didn't bring my laptop, man. If I had my laptop, would have been fucking perfect. Yeah? And I'm pissed uh, because I fixed my laptop after I came back from California. I should have done that shit before. I didn't know that I could fix it the way I did, and then I discovered a new way to fix it, and I, now it works. That sucks. I want to have a video podcast of all of us, and we're going to do it mad legit style. That'd be tight. Uh, well, what I'm saying, I'm down with the video stuff. I'm down with the audio stuff. I'm just down. But you're not down with that sexual stuff. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. But for me, um, yeah, we just got to have like just badass shit. And I think we got a lot of good shit going on. You know, we hooked up with a eight bit drum. Yep, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to rude. go to that. Like, I I went to the website and I like cruised around on my shitty ass phone. And um, well, guys, here's the cool thing I want to tell you about eight bit drum. He's giving us fucking free free reign. So if you guys have time and if you want to like write for a oh these niggas de these niggas are dead again. They they went dead again. Dead air. Oh. Uh, Yo, back. yo. So yeah, I was telling Brad, um, eight bit drum is dope because Nathaniel, the dude who's fucking helping us out, real, you know, really wants us to work together. He is saying like we could write blogs and shit, wrestling related, whatever, and articles. So if you guys want to contribute like a weekly column or a review, like I told Brad, he could do a review or like. You, Mark, you could do your ref blog there or some shit, like whatever. But, you know, ask him if he's okay. With, uh, like, you know, like, you know, we're, I think we're staring off the whole wrestling shit, but to bring it back full force and to, to talk about what I wanted to do for the website is like, cause I just got, just created a shit ton of, uh, I just got a shit ton of tapes in and like, you know, I want to do reviews on old wrestling tapes and shit like that. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Dude, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Are oh, you going to roll this blunt or what? Yeah. Uh... Shout out to Carl. He's trying to fucking get down on some Street Fighter 4. Or Street Fighter 2, actually. <laughs> but, uh, fucking, uh, just two versions heck? away and tons of systems away, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Same <laughs> shit, right? Same shit, Same you know? Shit, you can see right? <laughs> Yo, fucking retro gaming will always be the best because <laughs> there's no... F like, the load time was bullshit. Oh, yeah. really? You know what? Like, yeah, it, it wasn't really that bad. Compared to now... I but like, you know, it always blew my mind. Like, you play Tetris on like a PS2 or whatever system, the newer ones. It's like, wow, there's load time, really, for this simple ass game. 
Yeah, but the load time is 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 not as bad as compared to let's say you just get a PS4, and as soon as you turn it on, you got to fucking do a system update, and then it's, uh, and then and dude, you're spending fucking twenty minutes to a half hour between downloading and installing before you even get to play. Oh, dude, like having a fucking next gen console is almost bullshit. Like I I fucking love the fact that you could take an N64, just blow out the cartridge real quick, and just shove it in the system and have four of your homies just fucking get down on some fucking No Mercy or WCW. UNWO Revenge. Definitely. Definitely. No. Because I like. Yeah. Um. I was. I was going to seg- segue that into um, the WWE 2K games. Every one of them I've played are fucking awesome, except the fact that like, what is it? How many people can be on like a PS4? Like up to six or something, right? I don't know. Brad, how much? How many people do we have on at one time? We've had, we've had four on at one time, but that was just because that's as many controllers as we had. Well, like, how many can you put up on one? I don't know. I remember we're ever. talking, we're like, so if you link cable or, like, link systems together, could you have, like, a big-ass Royal Rumble with, like, literally, like, aching fools in the ring? No. No. Oh. They only let six people in the ring at a time. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. That's all the fucking thing can support. That, that's what's whack about, like... Uh, I remember there was fuck man. I can't remember what wrestling game it was, but I it can was tell a, you. it was a Royal Rumble, and, and there was mad fools in. It. Yeah, it's Royal, is it Royal Rumble? It's is Royal it... Rumble, and it was released for like the Dreamcast and like whatever. I'm pretty sure it might have been for PS2 or. Something. And there's mad people in it. It's like a rumble. It's not four people, six people. Like that's not a rumble. That's a four way. It's a continuous four way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it should <laughs> because when you, you should just let a limited <laughs> amount. <laughs> but in the old wrestling games, when you used to get eliminated in like a Royal Rumble, you would, and the next person would come out, you would come out as that person. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I remember uh, playing WrestleMania 2000, and I think, like you know, how WrestleMania 2000 for N64, you had to like <coughs> play Sunday Night Heat, and then you had to play Raw, and then you had to play whatever pay per view or whatever house show or whatever. Yeah. So. I got to Royal Rumble and I remember it like losing and I'm like, oh, I can just start it over. And like, no, you can, if you lose in the Royal Rumble in WrestleMania 2000, you will not go to WrestleMania. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you might, you might go to WrestleMania, but you're not going to fight for the title. You're not going to become championship man. <coughs> the championship man. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. Yo, Brad, we're going to fucking have championship man shit. It's going to be dope. Fuck yes. <laughs> make a button. We're gonna make a button. Yeah. Button pack. This would be cool. Well, you're not gonna be superior warrior champion. Because <laughs> warrior was the best champion ever. He was. He was cool. But my brother, me and my brother had this argument. Like, I, I know he knows that warrior. I'm pretty sure warrior is the only, or the first guy to do heavyweight intercontinental at one time, right? I'm almost positive that's his thing. What about Austin? Wasn't Austin that type of champion? Not for the first, not the first not one. The first one. It. You know, so I'm pretty sure Warrior was the first one. If not, tweet us and let us know if whoever was. Yeah. The Intercontinental and the Heavyweight. Yeah. Um. Well, just look at Intercontinental. Has Bret Hart ever done both? No. No. I figured he would too. No, I don't think he did. What about Shawn Michaels? No, I don't think Michaels did either. <coughs> but um, so I was telling him like, yeah, Warrior or. Hulk Hogan is like my brother's a Hogan fan. He's like, oh, Hulk Hogan's like the best wrestler ever. <laughs> and I was like, ah, fuck him. Like, he can't be the best wrestler ever because he never held two titles at once like that. No one, like he, no one can ever say that. Like the Warrior, like he was the only one to do it. At least the first one to do it. Wait, that's uh, weird. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Fuck Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> but that's weird. But look. All right, this, this is weird, though, because wrestling is predetermined, and it's like, how could you argue who was the best champion when the champion's always predetermined? Gabe, can you suspend belief? <laughs> Seriously, like, like what, makes a, what makes a good champion a good champion? And I'm, just, know, like, I'm just CM Punking right now, by the way. Yeah. So, you have Warrior. And to me, honestly, on... <clears throat> I guess pure fandom. <coughs> Warrior had a bigger presence than Hoy- uh, than Hogan at the time. You know when they were both in the WWF. 
even in like WCW when Warrior did his little run there, it just seemed like Warrior always had like this bigger presence of his fans, you know? Of course, Hogan always had his pop and always got his people. They always will have his Hogan fans. But fucking, I always felt like Warrior always had like a different power to his being a Warrior fan, you know? Okay. Like so, so, so I guess what you're telling me is what makes a good wrestling champion is like their 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 how, power how, how, their crowd how, power how, how yes exactly how much people you can get behind you oh well, Kogan had a lot of people behind him but I'm though. saying at that time like you know, that nigga that nigga had his own show on the UPN network for a while Thunder in Paradise yeah. come on man yeah it was called <laughs> shit bag sandwich that's what that's it was called, called shit bag sandwich <laughs> <laughs> if you if you watch the show if you watch the show closely it was actually called Night Rider on Water <laughs> Did he have a boat that talked or some shit? Or? He fucking had a boat that it was bat was like half Batmobile, half fucking Knight Rider. I think I remember like seeing it, but I never really like cared to watch it. But you know what? I'll say this about Hulk Hogan: No Holds Barred is a fucking dope movie. Mm-hmm. Like that movie's fucking dope. I like it. That's like one of my childhood favorite movies. <laughs> even you know, Hulk Hogan. Movie. <laughs> Like, that was, like, literally one of my favorite movies as a kid. Yo, he was in a lot of movies, though. Mr. Nanny? Yeah. Yo, wasn't he in Rocky as well? Was he? Uh, I don't, I don't know. know. He was in Mr. Nanny. He was the nanny. <laughs> I don't know what he was <laughs> thinking, but... Four? He yeah. was in... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that movie. Little one on the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> um, And then he was also in Suburban Commando. Yeah. Like, another movie I liked when I was a kid. And fun fact, Undertaker was actually in Suburban Commando, too. I was just about to say that. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't know, like... Yeah? Uh, yeah, it was him, right, Brad? He was... It's definitely, it's definitely I'm him. pretty... He was either in it, or he fucking, like... I, there's pictures of that shit. I can pull it up right now. Do I'm it. pretty sure he is. Do it and I'm, link me. I, I, I questioned myself right after I said it, and I was like, wait, is that true? But I, I want to say it is, because I think I've seen pictures of it, too. Yep, I, there's a video I of it. I, I don't remember fight, that take or fights Hogan. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember much of that movie. Man, I don't think many people do. Yeah. Well, fuck Hogan anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's oh, whack, shit. Gabe? You know it, Gabe. He's whack. He likes me, though. <laughs> I mean, I think he's okay. I'm not a huge Hogan fan, but, I mean... Him. No, I'm not like that. I'm not a Hulkamaniac. I don't have a Hulkamaniac shirt anywhere. You're not running wild? <laughs> you're not You're not like Carl when he showed up when Hogan came out during that Snoop Dogg promo and we were at Raw and the foot jumped out of his fucking seat. <laughs> you remember that game? He jumped out because everyone else in the crowd jumped out as well. <laughs> Yo, sometimes you get caught up in the crowds. Dude, that fool got jacked up. On the fucking- <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there he is. It. Yeah, I found or this fool found it. That's Hulk, that's uh, Undertaker, Undertaker right here. Really? What was this? Undertaker's uh, another alias for Undertaker should be like the scariest ginger ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What ginger you don't want to fuck with? Uh, <laughs> most evil ginger. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He's a big ass ginger. But when it, I think he's actually second to that one ginger kid that had that rant. Remember that like classic web video? Oh. oh okay. That's I think that's the scariest ginger in the world. <laughs> that kid. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man. <laughs> that kid, that I would not be that full friend. Just cause he looks scary. Like I would not talk to him at all. My friend always okay. used to say gingers don't have soul. Soul? <laughs> or souls. Or soul. so, souls, yeah. sorry. They don't have souls. Oh, that's that Puerto Rican coming out of you, huh? Hey. When I look at when I look at him, I feel like I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> He's a ranga. He's a fucking ranga. He's a fucking ranga. <laughs> What's a ranga? Oh, There's bro. nothing wrong with redheads, right? <laughs> yeah. Gingers. I have a red mustache. He does. Am I a ginger? Am I a ginger then? I don't know. Yeah, he has a red uh. Am I technically thing. a ginger then? I don't know. 
No. All I know no, that, you're not a ginger. Uh, all I know is that when I'm older, I'm gonna have one of those gnarly ass like yo mustaches. Yo. Oh, okay. I thought we were disconnected. We again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, not this time. I think if it. Um. Yeah, man. Wait till I get my MacBook. It'll probably be easier to fucking do this. Huh? You getting a MacBook? When you get a MacBook? I don't know. It's only like six hundred bucks. That's so you'll, you'll <laughs> pay pay for the name. Mm hmm That's true. Well, no, because that's like GarageBand and has all that good stuff. Yo, you can get fucking FL. I got Fruity Loops. Yeah, FL Studio. Shit. Yeah, if you got Fruity Loops on a computer. You can't store anything on because you have Fruity Loops on there. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, like yeah, Mac, MacBooks, yeah, but, but, MacBooks have small memory too. Well, this is what I was thinking, you know, for the build a nation, you know, we could throw a couple editing nice ones on there. And you can use it too for that shit, and then you know, get an external hard drive, transfer files in between each other like that as well. Yeah, yeah. See? Oh, what's up? Hey, what's oh, up, Pogo? What's up, what's up Pogo? Uh, you get MacBooks and fucking hard get drives. A badass, and shit? Hey, you should get a badass PC and learn it inside out, and, and then sell it. Yeah. And then, and then sell it, and then, sell it, yeah. and then be a, a a computer, a Windows computer repairman. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I was re- originally thinking was just getting an iPad, you know. But then I was like, I want some. I like keyboards. Yeah. So like, okay, Gabe, your little iPad thingy doesn't that one have a keyboard or some shit? What well, well, iPad thingy? I don't have an iPad. That thing you brought to California, whatever that tablet we had. Oh, that's a that's that's a that's a Microsoft Surface. Oh, uh, that, that good? Or? That's fucking bomb. I love that thing. I was watching the network on that sound bitch, and that shit worked. And you had a keyboard too, didn't yeah. you? It was yeah. like a keyboard thing. They have two different types of keyboards. I'm not plugging. I'm not plugging. But <laughs> they have fuck that shit in. I don't give a fuck. I use the Windows. They better, they fuck better, them motherfucking they better, Mac. They better pay us. Hey, <laughs> Macs are cool, but they're way too fucking expensive. They're overpriced though. Like fuck a lot of that. a lot of people in our profession use them, and then when people are like, "Oh, what do you use?" and I tell them PC, they like for some re- for some reason don't think I'm professional. They're like, "Oh, you're oh, using." Yeah, see? And That's I'm like, what, what, "What the fuck are you talking about? I, I never had a problem with my PC." Like, it never had a problem with my PC. As a matter of fact, I can take my PC and go to any fucking studio I want, put my shit into your Mac, and still fucking run it. Fuck you. Gabe has had problems with his pussy, but not his PC, right? Dude, my <laughs> vagina won't fucking stop leaking. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. <laughs> now who's, okay, now, let's segue this into something. Who's... Nah, that's kind of... You fucking writing segues all day today. Yeah, man, segue, bro. <laughs> He's a se- uh, <laughs> he should buy a Segway. Yo, you should buy a Segway. Yeah, you, should buy a you, should, Segway. you should buy a Segway. Go to Venice Beach. Ride, ride down Venice, right? With sunglasses on and a bow tie. And just chill. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Fucking, um, I want to do that, but like in a uh, tuxedo thong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Do <laughs> the elephant one? This guy. No, nah, no. Nah, it needs to be like an ostrich one or something. <laughs> The arms just have long necks. Uh, yeah, giraffes. Now you gotta find one that's all girth. You gotta find one that's all girth. Yeah, so dude, it be like a tree stump. <laughs> like a tree stump. Yo, <laughs> Yo there's some giraffe? sketchy shit happening by me, man. What the fuck? Yo, a giraffe's neck's a fucking trip. Like, it's so long. Oh, I remember being at the zoo and looking at it. And, like, looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Dude, and they fight with them. They fucking fight each other with them. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's too <laughs> fucking crazy. It's like fighting with the kielbasa sausage. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I made a fart noise on a monkey and it farted back. Like, it was mad. <laughs> 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 and right. I want a little baby monkey. Like, no. Yeah, just a little one. Just like chill, like, chill with other shit, you know? And then, like, get rid of him. Like, yo, we gotta go. You're gonna fucking buy him. <laughs> yeah, fuck get me. I'll just let him go when he's time to go. I just let him loose. I'm like, all right, homie, go. And then he like, just I, takes I, off and attacks people. <laughs> don't you remember what happened last time somebody let a fucking monkey loose? That's how Planet of the Apes starts. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Damn. Apes. It'd be a little one, a little baby. Ever <laughs> seen Outbreak? I'll train him how to wrestle and shit. <laughs> Nice. Yo, you could you could fucking train them how to fucking make uh take bumps like a big ass take bumps. You could train them how to make coffee. Yep. You can also train them how to get beer. Yep. Hey, go to the neighbor's house. Grab me a beer. All right. We'll be back. <laughs> be a ninja with that shit. Hell be a yeah. ninja. Outfit. Hey, do uh 
Do any of you guys plan on watching that ESPN shit about NXT tomorrow? What channel? Is what? It? What's what? ESPN? ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I didn't even know they were, they were doing anything Dick, like that. There's ESPN. Yeah, dude, it's like a fucking backstage shit on NXT. Wow. Who are they going to show? My girl Emma? No. <laughs> she was on NXT recently, right? That's why I said. They're definitely not going to nah, show. This is like, this is like. What is it, Brad? It's just like backstage shit, like everything that goes into NXT. Wow, oh, that's cool. pretty cool. Like I the training, that. not like the fucking. Like, not, it, not it's, the, like, all the backstage shit. Oh, so, like, they're not going to do any of the production shit. They're actually going to do, like, wrestling shit? Like, they're going to show actual wrestling shit? They should, like, right now in the, the commercial they just showed, it was, like, Triple H and actually, like, everybody in NXT in, like, the meeting room having a big old meeting and just, like, backstage shit, training, like, all that shit. Hi. Man, that sounds pretty cool. Yo, well, yo. I mean, ESPN is... As uh, I'm surprised WWE is doing that, because uh, I I want to say in that Scott Hall thing they kind of bashed WWE a little bit, like a little bit. Even though I know actually I think like they were talking shit, but then they show Stephanie McMahon you know, and how they uh, help Scott Hall and shit like that too. Yeah, yeah they didn't bash him because there's, there's, there's nothing there's nothing to bash like. It, crazy enough, as, as shitty as WWE can be, they take care of their fucking people afterwards. Well, yeah, they actually said that they spent the most money on uh, Scott Hall in drug rehab. Like, they spent, like, over a million dollars in rehab on Scott Hall. Yeah, While they, he was wrestling there? Or after? No, af- after, like, after. With his drug shit. Yeah, yeah. They, they tried to help him. They legit tried to help like him. seven times. They they set they have they set up like college tuitions for people after they get out of like the business and shit like that. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, I think like the WWE does like I know a lot of shit they do for face, but like there's a couple of cool things that they probably do for wrestlers that we really don't know about like on the outside world because it's probably kept well inside the you know that 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 whole place. Oh, these niggas fucking bounced again. Yes, they did. What At the- least this time they were on for a while. Yeah, we're yo, dude. <laughs> The sketchiest thing ever, man. There's a fucking helicopter just hovering like over my neighborhood. That nigga's gone again. They're gone again. I saw it <laughs> click off right there. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Yo, everybody's computer's catching emotions. Yo, I fucking hope mm-hmm. my. I hope I have to check mine into therapy real quick. Yours, yours is next. Yo, Very don't fucking pre- jinx me, dude. Pre preempt that preempt it. Tell it tell you love it. I do. I shut yeah, it down. You're the always day. there for it. <laughs> I do. I clean out the memory all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I treat it good. Yeah, take good care of that shit. Hell yeah. Mine's up. My my mine was mine was probably pissed at me because I wasn't using it. But now the programs we're using, I can work from home. We're well, back again. I would apply, but they're pretty fucking racist. <laughs> About what? Because WWE like. I would love to work for them, man. And it's just, it's no secret how people there feel about ethnic people, even in their booking, you know? Well, you want to hear what's crazy? Vince actually wanted to put the belt on fucking Big E, but Triple H scrapped it. I fucking hate Triple H. Dude, I was watching Raw today and watching Big E go, and I was like, damn, I wish this fool got that shot at to be champ. Yeah, he's definitely, like, I remember they were saying he was number, he was, like, pretty much, a lot of people were saying that if there ever is going to be a next black heavyweight champ, a WWE champ, it was going to be Big E, because it still has time for him to do that, you know? There's de- there's definitely time. He's got personality, too, like, if you look at all the shit, like, he's fuck- He's a fucking funny guy. He cracked me no, up. His like, IG's like, hilarious. Insta and shit, dude, he's fucking hilarious. Yo, I-, I really like that fucking, like, suicide spear he does. That shit is dope. Yeah. That, big, that dude, dude, he, on Raw tonight, he had some fucking gnarly suplexes, like, some good ones. I love... Big E suplexes because he throws the person completely over his head. Like, he doesn't have to do, like, the fucking snap shit, like, where he fucking, like, almost breaks his neck, his own neck on the fucking yeah. mat and shit. He, like, completely throws him over. It's fucking, he's got so much power. It's ridiculous. He just basically tosses him, yeah. basically. Yeah. I like him as a heel, too. Like, just not talking, just fucking uh-huh. just intimidating. Only thing, homeboy needs new gear. I don't like seeing his kid. Yeah. You don't like the onesie. I don't like him. These dudes are like those lifer weightlifter dudes. You can tell he's like a power lifter. Yeah. I want a big E shirt. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like I wonder what's gonna happen, you know, like cause a lot of people say that like 
oh Mark, you look like Brock Lesnar. Your muscles are gonna go like that too. And I'm just like, yo, dude, the beast ain't never gonna be stopped. You take breaks. <laughs> so oh my God. I wonder how I'm gonna be, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Very <consistent. laughs> It's a concern <laughs> I have every day. I'm gonna fucking make a model and 3D print Mark all buff. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, all you gotta do is just go to your. All I gotta head. do is make a fucking egg and put it on a fucking buff ass body. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta go to. Hey, your... You can't forget the fish hook though either. <laughs> uh, you gotta go. Hey, that's a 45 degree overhang. I gotta fucking put a support uh, beam on that shit. Print. Fuck. <laughs> Brad, if you, if you literally designed like a buff ass body with an egg and a hook, I'll make it a, a low life toy. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna fucking try. And like just like a solid little figure of like a buff ass fool, and then like an egg for the head, and then like a hook on it. I'll definitely. Fishing a fishing hook, I guess, apparently. One of those big fishing hooks, though. You know, the ones you catch like whales with? April <laughs> shells is a shout out right now. It's not that big of a hook. It's a hook. Okay, all right. It's a hook, but it's not that big of a hook. Okay, right. it, a hook, a hook. <laughs> okay so look, hey, he catches bass and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> not deep. None of that deep sea shit, but he catches some fresh water shit. <laughs> Catching them in the cold basses, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of protein, credit, oh, credit on that joke to Carl in the studio live right now, getting down on some Street Fighter. Oh, nice. Still getting his ass kicked by Sagat. Hey, man, WWE is so cool. Like, I'm watching their video right now on, on uh, what it's like to do like studio recruitment and stuff like that. And I really like it. It's a lot of white people and a lot of Asians. <laughs> That's cool. So I had.